Kendrick Perkins hanging with us all throughout the hour and Perk Lucas put up at least 33 points in all three games against Minnesota this season. How realistic is it for the Wolves to win this series if Luca is dominating on the floor like this? Where Dallas had the edge in game one was in the point. They outscored Minnesota 62 to 38. What adjustment did the Wolves need to make in the paint area? Well, they need to play harder. They what? have won their past three road games, tied for their second longest streak in a postseason in franchise history. More from Perk on the East in just a bit. I hate it that he's injured. I, I mean, know. you want these teams at full want it to be as much series. as possible. I know. And and game one was but, so oh, incredible. That's what we want every single yes, night. We yes. want to win. Do during the break, but I'm gonna look up and Google what the Texas two step is because I oh, still have you don't know the Texas two step. I don't, I don't. Oh, yeah, no, I'm from H Town. Oh, oh, yeah, no, it, it. it's really fun and it's super easy. ESPN best Aaron Dolan with us for the plays that you need to make a very tight game one between the Dallas Mavericks and the Timberwolves. But Aaron, what's a bet you like for tonight for game two with those two teams? Look at Minnesota in the first half minus three and a half. Now in game one, they were up by three points at the half, despite them seemingly struggling that in half points with Minnesota. I'm looking at them in the first half minus three and a half. The Timberwolves likely looking to punch first in game two. Always tempting to take a parlay, though. What can you tell us about that route? So let's look at the same game parlay. We're going into the holiday weekend. Now on ESPN bet, we call this a parlay plus. under three and a half turnovers. Okay. So surprising I'm not looking at points or something like that, but I do think that he'll be likely to go under that mark as well. And if you combine all that, you get that a plus 301. All right, that's not bad at all. Also looking for Anthony Edwards to protect the basketball tonight. Download the ESPN bet app today. Aaron, thanks so much.